Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Tech Tejendra and we are now at chapter 11 of Red Hat OpenShift Administration Tutorial. In this chapter, we are going to discuss a very important topic of taints and toleration. Uh, we will see how we can apply these in the OpenShift cluster, what is the difference between taints and toleration. So this topic might be difficult for the new beginners. So let me start uh, understand it by a very uh, real world example. So suppose there is a man and man name is node and there is two bugs, pod one and the pod two. Both the bug as of now can touch the man, okay, because uh, nothing is applied and in the normal scenario, bug can touch the man, okay. And now man wants to rid of these bugs, okay. So what man can do, he can apply the taint on his body. So he applied the taint on his body. Now, if pod one bug is uh, uh, want to touch man, then due to the smell of the taunt, he will not be able to touch the man body. Now, suppose that pod two bug has evolved the toleration about this smell, okay? Then in that case, pod two uh, bug can touch the man body, right? So this is the whole concept about the taints and the toleration. Now, let me understand this concept in the open shift environment. So suppose we are having three um, nodes in our cluster, node one, node two, and a node three. And in the node one cluster, we have applied a taint. Same way we are having multiple pods here, pod A, B, C, and so on. And uh, now if schedule one to uh, schedule the pod A into the node one, okay? But because node one is uh, the tainted node now, and uh, it can allow only the uh, pod which is having uh, toleration, okay, of this tainted, only then um, it can take it up. So uh, now schedule, what, what schedule will do, it will schedule pod A to the next available node, okay, which might be the node 2 or the node 3. And uh, then if uh, schedule will schedule the pod B uh, to the node 1, okay, and now pod B is having the toleration, then it can be scheduled on the node one okay so that is how uh, these things will be applied here taint and toleration okay so now we understand some key points about this taint and the toleration so this taint and toleration are not related to the security rather it is related to the restrictions okay so taint and toleration allow the node to control which pod should or should not be scheduled on them okay so it's all about the restrictions and again for a taint will be applied on the node and tolerations will be applied on the pod, okay? So let's uh, understand in more detail uh, with uh, what are the components of these uh, taints and toleration, okay? So uh, main components are the key, value, effect, and the operator, okay? So key could be any string and value could also be any string. The important thing here is the effect. So effect could be either no schedule, prefer no schedule or the no SQ. So what is difference between no schedule and the no SQ effect? If we select, if the effect is no schedule, it means uh, the new pod, which is not having toleration, okay? Because this stain will be applied on the node, okay? So uh, once we uh, apply this stain with the no schedule, it means the pod which is having no toleration, it that schedule will not going to be scheduled. That pod is not going to be scheduled on that node, particular node. Okay. And if the effect is no as good, it means all the, the running pod, okay, whatever uh, pods are run, already running in the uh, in that node, these pods will also be exit, exited from the node if they are not having the toleration. In case of no schedule, Okay, running pod will keep running or new pod will not be scheduled if they are not having the toleration. Then how we can apply the toleration on the pod? Okay, so while the creating the pod or in the deployment, we can apply the key operator effects, right? So uh, a key and these values should be the same as we given in the taint, right? So key should match with the taint key. Operator could be uh, equals or the exist, right? So uh, depend on this effect should also be matched either no execute or uh, the uh, uh, no schedule. And what is this toleration second, right? So it means uh, uh, once uh, pod will be scheduled into the node, 
uh, and if that board is also uh, the uh, 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 having the toleration, it's still till that time, toleration seconds, till only till that time, particular time, okay, specified time that uh, pod will run uh, into that node. After it, it will ex exit. Okay. So now let me understand all these concepts uh, in our lab. Okay, so let me first check our lab environment here and we check what all ports and nodes we are having. Okay, so uh, OC get nodes. Okay, so we are having three nodes here in our environment master 01, master 02, master 03. Both are master as well as the worker node. Okay, now uh, um, in my environment, one application is already running and uh, let me check that application via oc get all command okay so here one uh, my one pod is up and running very good okay let me check in which node this pod is running mine hyphen o white right so this pod currently is running on the master 01 node okay now let me go ahead and apply uh, the taint here on the master 01 node then we'll see the effect of it this taint okay so to apply this taint we have to give command oc adm and then the taint node and the node name and now let me apply the key value and the effect okay so let our key is planet and equal to value is earth and after colon we have to apply the effect okay so as our pod is already running in the node so let me apply this time the no execute effect okay so the all running pod which is not tolerate will be exit so our pod should be execute uh, should be exit from uh, from the master one node. Okay, so let me apply it here. It's written that uh, master zero one tainted. Now let me check what happened to our uh, pod here. Once we applied here, now you can see it has been exited exited from the master uh, zero one node, and now this pod is running on the master zero two node. Okay, now let me try to apply this taint in all of the uh, all of three nodes okay so we are having 0 1 0 2 and 0 3 nodes okay so let me apply it before applying it uh, let me uh, delete uh, the current uh, taint from the master 0 1 node and before doing it let i so i also uh, i show you uh, how we can check uh, uh, whether any taint is already applied into our node or not okay to check this we can give command oc describe and uh, uh, then uh, node and the node name as taint is applied on our master 01 node okay and then let provide uh, a pipe here grab command Okay, so it's returned that taints and uh, this taint is applied on our master 01. Let me check whether any taint is applied on our master 02 node or not. Okay, if we do that, so it's saying that none, right? So in master 02 node, how we can remove the taint, right? So it is very simple to remove the taint. We just have to uh, uh, give this OC ADM taint node and the node name and uh, then we have to provide the key name and after key name we have to provide the high one that's all then it will remove all the taints which is having this key planet key okay so let me apply this so it is saying master 01 is untainted now and if we will check again via the describe of the master 01 it will return that taint none okay so now currently no taint is applied and our uh, port uh, is uh, running uh, in the master 02 okay so what now we will do we will apply the tent in the master 01 and the master 03 node uh, with the effect no schedule it means after it um, uh, pod no pod which is having no tolerance cannot be scheduled in the master 01 and the master 03 pod okay so let me do it 
so this is our command let me first apply for the master 01 node and key is the planet value is the earth and uh, let we select uh, the uh, effect as no schedule okay so we have applied it on master 01 let me apply it in master 03 as well Okay, so our master 01, master 03, no port can be scheduled. And for master 02, let me apply the no execute effect here. Okay, so from master 02, our port will be exit and it not be able to schedule on the uh, any of other ports, right? 01 and 03. So let me apply these changes here. Okay, so our all three uh, nodes are tainted. Let me check what will happen to our node port now. Here you can see port is on pending stage. Why? Because all of our nodes are tainted and our port is not tolerate, right? Is not having any toleration of these stains. So that's why our uh, port is in the waiting state and in the pending state okay so now let me see how we can apply the toleration okay so for uh, to apply toleration let we do not work on the terminal let we go into the uh, console web console okay so how we can go into the web console via oc who am i command and then we will give hyphen hyphen so console and it will return the URL, okay? And let me open this URL into the web browser. Fine, okay? And let me go to our project. Here it is our project. Let me go into the workload. And we can see uh, one um, deployment is going on and it is showing us an alert. What is this alert? The alert is the pending, right? So it is trying to uh, create the pod, but, pod, but, but uh, our scheduler is not able to schedule the pod into any of uh, node, okay? That's fine. So let me open this deployment. And we can see scaling is zero because it is still in the pending. Okay, so how we can add the toll lesson? Here is the toll lesson section. And zero toll lesson is applied now. So let me go ahead and apply the toll lesson and add the toll lesson. Okay, as I told you, key, value, and effects, all these three should be matched. Okay, so if I apply the key as the planet, and operator should be equal and value should be uh, earth and effect should be no schedule okay if we will select the no schedule then uh, it will schedule our um, pod uh, either in the node 01 or either in the node 03 node okay so let me save it and we'll see we have done it and let me check whether our pod has been scheduled or not now. Okay, so here it is trying from scaling to right and see here. It has been scheduled and let me check in the terminal as well. Our pod is very well running in the master zero one. Okay, so uh, that is all about uh, this pod and the toll lesson. Okay, and uh, we can apply these toll lessons into the uh, pod and we can apply tints into the node. And this is a very, very much important concept. And uh, uh, if you will planning to give exam 280, then uh, it is very important concept to understand in exam as well. Thank you very much for watching this video.